Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today I have a very cool tweak that I wanted to share with all of you and it is known as Home Screen Designer. So as you can see here on my home screen, I have this gorgeous layout in the shape of a heart, if you can't tell what it is already. So what this tweak exactly does is it gives you the option to customize the layout of your icons on your home screen so that you can have a very unique and cool layout such as this one here. Now there are of course some options to consider for this particular tweak. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the application here. So we have some options here starting in the top left corner where you can show delete on icons, show icon labels, or view a tutorial. So I'm gonna hit cancel there. Now moving on to the top right corner, this is how you can add an icon to create a layout. So I'm just gonna press that plus symbol and you see now it gave me an icon. I could click the plus symbol again and get another icon and just keep pressing it until I get the icons on the screen and move them exactly where I want them to go. So this would be a layout that you can pretty much save and then your icons on your home screen would move themselves to the to these positions. Now moving down here to the bottom left, this is where you would save the layout when you have it the way you like. But say for instance, you started adding icons and you no longer like where this particular one is, you can hold your finger on it and pull up some more options. So from within this menu, you can choose to delete that particular icon, which will go ahead and remove it. Or you can hold your finger down on it again. And let's get those options. You can swap its position with another icon. So say for instance, I want this particular one where the icon one is, so I can type that there hit swap and it moves its position. And then the last option, let me get that menu, you can set the icon position. So in selecting that, you pretty much get a more accurate position of where the icons are gonna be because you can type in the X and Y numbers and it will move to that exact spot. You also have the option to turn on the grid so you can have pretty much a snap to guide as far as where the icons go. And you can also pinch the grid so that the grid is smaller or spread it so that it is bigger. And then over here in the bottom right corner, you can change the background image. So say for instance, I have a particular wallpaper that I have in mind in terms of where I want my icons to go. This is where you would select that image so that you can get your icons exactly where you want them to be. Then if you select image again, you can also change the icon image itself so that if you have a particular theme you're using and you want to make sure that when you position things that it captures the theme itself due to the icons being a little bit more different, then you can choose that icon theme and then just go back to your home screen or go back to the app itself. So that's how you create a layout. But however, if you're not in the mood to create a layout, thankfully they have some predefined layouts here. So you can go down here and click on save in the middle and this will show you any layouts that you already have on the device so these are some that I downloaded and when I find that I want to use one on my home screen so for instance I'm going to use the ring because that's honestly one of my favorites you can hold your finger down on it and you can select to apply the layout now when you apply the layout you can choose from having it on every home page on your device or you can get a little bit more specific and choose which exact pages you want it on your device so say for instance, on my first page, I wanted the ring and on the second page, I want something else. This is where you would do that. Now, something you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do because originally this said heart, I had to tap it to make sure that it had changed to the ring layout. Once you've done that, you're gonna select save and the changes take effect immediately. So if I go here to my home screen, you'll see my icons are now in the ring layout. So I did not have to respring or anything like that. It just happened automatically. So I'm gonna go back in here and the upload tab here, that's where you can download pre-made layouts like I was speaking about. So this is the area you would go to to preview either, you know, just random layouts or popular layouts. This is where I like to go. And to preview how that particular layout looks, you can click on it and it will show you a preview of it so that you can decide if you want that particular layout or not. When you do find one that you want, you just hold your finger down on it and then select download and it will appear under your saved layouts. And it will also give you a notification to let you know it did save. In addition to having those options, you also have some from within settings itself. So you can go in there and just click on home screen designer and you can choose to turn home screen designer on or off, or you can enable placeholder icons, or you can just choose a layout that you already have from within here without ever opening the home screen designer application itself. So that pretty much sums up everything about this particular tweak. I hope you all enjoy it and express your creativity in creating layouts. And those of you that do, why don't you hit me up on Twitter and add me a picture of what you came up with. I'm interested to see your designs. Feel free to drop your comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as I greatly appreciate the support. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.